Now, if you don't have a torque wrench, don't be a tight ass. Go and buy one. Did, the hell? Did you buy the cheapest torque wrench you could? Maybe. <laughs> So today we're going to fit the ultra racing strut brace to the F20 M140i. Not a hard job, but if you're here watching this video, you're probably a complete moron like me and you're wondering what you need to do to make sure that you don't completely stuff up the job. So first things first, you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need a half inch socket drive. You're going to need obviously your strut brace. You're going to need a car M140i or something similar and um, obviously you're also gonna need your torque wrench. Now, if you don't have a torque wrench, don't be a tight ass, go and buy one uh, so you can get the right settings. The right settings, 30 Newton meters plus 90 degree turn on the bolt. So pretty straightforward, but without further ado, let's get into it. So quite simply start by removing the three bolts as pictured above. Now on the right hand side, you will have to uh, peel back a bit of rubber now, as you can see above, in my circumstance, the strut brace actually fouled on some of the seam sealer. So we've just uh, had to trim that back. So pretty straightforward in my scenario. Damage the paint. <laughs> Scratch my paint. <laughs> so we've already marked out where the strut brace is fit in. We just need to take out the seam sealer. So that'll seat flat. Okay, let's try it. So when you start putting the bolts back, make sure they are properly seated before you go to nuts uh, tightening. You certainly don't want to cross thread this, otherwise you are going to have a real bad, real bad day. Cut a little bit into bare metal. Yeah. It's fine. So 30... If it rusts in 30 years, it's someone else's problem. 30 foot pounds? 30 Newton meters. And then 90 degrees. Yeah. So much easier with someone else filming. Yeah. You're gonna set up a tripod and... Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? Did you buy the cheapest torque wrench you could? Maybe. <laughs> It wasn't doing that, is it stuffed, is it? Yeah. No way, bro. It's not. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Have you used a torque wrench before? I was only is it tight, and a, a tight at the bottom? I was only oh. a fitter of Turner for 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> so that's no. <laughs> what the hell? It's slipping in the rack. Uh, don't shop at Bunnings. Lowest prices are just the beginning. Look. <laughs> You Is bought it, it from Bunnings, did you? Yeah. It's definitely set to 30 Newton meters. Yes. <laughs> you can... We'll be right back. <laughs> um, you should know, you're at my house. This is, how, this is how it goes down. By the cheapest tool possible. That was not the cheapest. Get the job done and then return it. It wasn't. <laughs> oh, that's a bloody great idea. I don't need it after this. So once you have your bolt uh, correctly torqued to 30 Newton meters, it then requires a 90 degree turn and that's what we're doing here. We're marking it out with the pencil, a little 90 degree mark on the bolt so that uh, we know that it is exactly 90 degrees. 